when the military needs to do some heavy lifting. They call in the Marines and their CH-53E Super Stallion. It is a heavy lift helicopter. CH-53 Echo Super Stallion, it's the largest helicopter in the military. It dwarfs some of its flashier cousins. The Blackhawk weighs just over 10 and a half thousand pounds and stands 16 feet 10 inches high. The Apache weighs in at nearly 11 and a half thousand pounds and stands 12 feet 7 inches high. But the CH-53 weighs over 33,000 pounds and towers nearly three stories high at 28 feet. Not only is the CH-53 the largest helicopter in the military, it's also the strongest. The Super Stallion can carry internal loads of up to 20,000 pounds in the cargo hold, or external loads of 32,000 pounds hung underneath the aircraft. It can carry everything from armed troops to armored vehicles. Well, the primary mission of the helicopter is assault support, carrying troops and equipment around the theater or wherever we're operating at to make sure that they get the supplies they need, the equipment, the ammunition, and basically moving Marines around. To complete these missions, it takes two pilots and three crew chiefs who are responsible for loading up the inside. We call it beans, band-aids, and bullets. We can take anything in the back. Or hooking up external loads underneath. It's either a single point lift or a dual point lift. Dual points are usually for longer, wider loads so that you know, you can keep the load from spinning. The seven rotor blades that sit on top of this metal monster are the reason the Super Stallion can carry so much weight. They're so strong that the blades create downward winds in excess of 85 miles an hour. We're up on the rotor head on the CH-53 Echo, and from here out, it's about 400 pounds. Put things in perspective, there's seven of them that adds up to 2,800 pounds. 2,800 pounds can lift 73,500 pounds. The mechanical muscles that move these blades come in the form of three GE engines that produce 12,000 horsepower. We're not worried about how much power we have to pull to make a turn or climb or descend. We've got it there at our fingertips. When you're operating in environments where it's very difficult to travel over roads, especially in the environment we've seen over the last six years where IEDs, explosive devices, roadside bombs become a major issue, we're able to move a lot of equipment over the air without that threat to worry about. Nevertheless, in these environments, there's the real threat of being shot down. If the worst happens and the engines fail, CH-53 pilots rely on an aerodynamic phenomenon common to all helicopters called autorotation. As the helicopter falls, the upward flow of air through the rotor provides enough force to keep the blades turning, much like a pinwheel. The pilot will lower the collective, decreasing the angle of the blades. This creates just 